Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Today, I have my co-host, Barbara, here. Are you there, Barbara? Yes, I'm here. Hi, everybody. And our guest today is Dale Shear, Psychic Dale Shear. How are you doing, Dale? I'm doing fine, although I have a prediction for Barbara that just came to mind. Uh, oh, Barbara, wow. You're, yeah, yes. Barbara, you're going to get either television or something like a documentary or something of that sort that's going to be coming up real soon. And it's like unexpected, and it's going to happen right away. And pretty wow. soon, so I want you to be aware of it. Now, do you know of anything I'm talking about? No, that's so exciting! Good. Wow, good. good. Thank you. Happen, wow, I got psychic, chills. I just got chills. Yeah, psychic and time are not real good, but I'm just waiting and biding my time, just like Johnny. Is it your birthday today, Johnny? No, it's next week. No, my birthday is uh, the 28th. Is that a Friday? That's a Thursday. Oh, okay. Happy upcoming birthday. <laughs> now, yeah. what was the prediction you said about Barbara, about television? Yeah, television, documentaries, uh, something. And it's also uh, there's also a modeling show that you're going to produce or have something to do with. So it, there's some good things for you upcoming. Awesome. Wow. That's exciting. But I should get to, Thanks. I should get to the people because I don't want to leave them hanging. Yeah. I'm okay. All right. Well, the uh, would you ahead, like to take a call? What? Go ahead. Pick up a call. Okay. Okay. Area code 239. 239, you are lucky number one. You are on live with oh, Psychic that's... Dale Shear. <laughs> Wonderful. Aloha. Thank you so much. Hi. Thank you for Where taking you my call. Hi there. Uh, you... This is Lynn. And where are you from, sweetheart? Um, right now I'm in California. Okay, where about specifically? Where? Uh, the, uh, specifically the West Hollywood area. Oh, I'm very familiar. Very familiar. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I used to live out that way. How can I help you? Well, I like to. I like to kind of ask. Um, do you see some good things coming coming up for me? Um, you know, be going into the summer, uh, July, August, or some good things coming in for me. Okay, sweetheart. You have a great voice. Uh, have you ever done radio or television or any of those things at all? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I just well, talk you, a lot, but no. <laughs> no, no, but you, you should, there's something coming up that may be connected to radio or voiceovers or something. And unless I'm picking up on Barbara, but, you, sh- you know, it's something. Uh, when you're asking me a specific question, please make it very specific because I, okay. the more specific okay. you are, I will be. Okay. Um, well, um, Adele, I am. I have been um, uh, thinking and really uh, wanting to move uh, from California, uh, relocate towards the northeast, and I'm. Uh, wanting to see how you feel or see that okay. going for me. North, northeast where? Maine. Okay. Portland, well, Maine. Okay, but you can't do anything with the coronavirus. It's very heavy in the air. Right. But after yes. it's um, over, yes, you will make mm-hmm. the move, and okay. there will be business for you, and there will be a job for you, or you may transfer or do what you need to do. But, yes, you will be able to make that move. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I but appreciate it you. Thank you. Thank you. Can, yeah. you work, can you work by phone? I mean, can you yes. work on this? Yeah. Well, I was, I, was, yeah, I was just thinking, like, later, like, Around the summer, in the summer, not right now, <laughs> not right. Yeah, but no, I understand. But I don't, I don't foresee this virus being over anytime soon. 
so can't say when, and then it will change strings. So it won't be this, but it'll be another one. Uh, so uh, ah. if you can do it by phone, fine. But I know physically you want to move there. Yes, you'll be able to do so when everything settles down. Okay. Thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate okay. you. Have a good Blessings. Night. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, Johnny, next one. Okay. The next one is 850. 850, okay. you're up with Psychic Gail Shear. Welcome to the show. Hi, my name is Kelly, and I would like to know about my love life. Do you see somebody new coming in? Okay, Kelly, where are you located? What city? I'm in Texas. Texas, okay. Whoa, you guys have been hit hard, but I have a question for you. Um, since your governor has allowed people kind of turn them loose and the virus has, has gone up, um, what's the consensus about that? Um, um, I don't know. I just do my thing. Um, cause I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of in the, I'm in a predicament that I'm not really in the mainstream, um, uh, thing, you know, in the mainstream, um, uh, you know, populist, I guess. So So I don't really know, you know, and I really don't pay attention to the TV, but I don't think mm-hmm. I really have, it's like information that's passed on from me, from those who are over me, you know? So mm-hmm. um, if they say I'm able to go out in the street, just uh, the judge ordered us to just keep the mask on wherever we go and we should be okay. So I don't know what's going on at this point. Okay. Have you, are you incarcerated or were you incarcerated? Um, well, you might as well say that, but no, it's not that bad. But it's, uh, I'm just in a little predicament where I'm not. Well, that's just, what do you call them? Standalone um, shelters? That's where I'm at. So it's not like I got the first hand. Oh, okay. Hand. I see. You know what I'm saying? Similar. Like, I'm not in the real population. I'm like kind of the people that, that nobody want to deal with. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're with the, like, the homeless, and then they give you a place to live, and they give you food, and they give you all that stuff, yeah? Right. So we got to do what they yeah, tell us to do. You know? <laughs> You'll get out of it, honey. This is just uh, it's a temporary um, stay. That's all. It's temporary. Right. So, you know, uh, you you have a lot of things you can do, uh, but because of the virus, you know, you can't do a lot of things at the moment. What type of work did you used to do? What kind of work? Yeah. Um, I was a customer service representative, but, oh, my gosh, I'm like, I have so many issues. I got issues, though. So, but when I was able to work, I did customer service and CNA work in between mm-hmm. the times that I was not actually working. So, other than that, I just stayed at home for, you know, forever. So. <laughs> mm. Okay. Are you looking for a place to live? Um, I'm looking for, okay, well, everything is, like, up in the air right now, you know, with the situation. So I'm looking for a job, like a work-from-home job. Well, you there's going to be a lot of those available, a lot. I know, and I think that I'm going to do so much better with that. But once that kicks in, then I'll be able to, like, get my own place and, you know, become more independent. Well, and, um, do, I, I see you'll be able to do all of that. Have you tried Amazon.com when you work from home? Or there's a lot, just put up, you have, do you have an internet? Do you have, you know, a laptop or you can Yeah, like Amazon up? was like the first one. Amazon, who else? It was a couple of them, like the big ones, like Amazon. Amazon, mm-hmm. it was somebody else I was trying to get on with that did all that drop shipping. I was trying to do that. And then I got on Sunrise, the platform, so I could put in my resumes for people who like to, you know, have, you know, um, for businesses that use Sunrise. I was I put in my application for that so I can be, you know, a work from home person. But nobody, you know, you know, bit my my hook, I guess. <laughs> so okay, on your you know. on your hook, you got to you got to get back to those people. That's all. You really just know, have I to know. go back to it and stay on it. Because I see you working from home, and I do see you being able to um, get a job from like a company 
you know, of that sort. There are so many jobs out there, but if you don't reach out, you know, mm-hmm. you don't reach out more than once, then, you know, so are you, you know. Yeah. You just have to bug right. them to death and get what you want. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's, that's where I see things. You'd be very good, too, as a caregiver, believe it or not, or getting food for people or driving people around if you could, if you had a car. But, I mean, you know, you'd be good at that stuff, too. But, I, you know, you I know. Things are, they're bad right now, but within six months, everything will change back to the better, and you will say to yourself, uh, what did I have to worry about? And it, it'll all get better. Right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Just hang in there, honey. All right. I will. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. So, Barbara, it's rough because these people, um, everybody's going through hell of some sort. And, um, you know, trying to get them back on their feet is the hardest part. And I wish, you know, I had a magic. I wish I had a magic pill or something. I know, I but things. you have you have a lot better. Sometimes you have encouragement and your words are helping them. And maybe they wouldn't even have a second chance if they weren't, like, shuffled up a little bit, you know? Sometimes change is good for some people. It's like a yeah, new change, beginning. Change is good if you accept it. You know, I had the right. hardest thing in the world with change, and then all of a sudden... I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Let's say that much. Yeah, I mean, you I are. Don't, You're resilient. Liked, yeah, I know, but I never liked change at all. I wanted to stay in one house for 40 years, and I got to stay for 30. But, I mean, I uh, didn't want to move, didn't want to go anywhere. But now that I've changed, now I figure, oh, what the hey, I'll change everything. So it's all right. Yeah. So everything, yeah. You know, everything in my life is like, Okay, what is today? Hold. Oh, okay, it's another change. Okay, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. And it's like, you know, it gets better. You're That's looking at always the bright side of everything. That's what you do. Well, I'm trying to. I never used to. But I'll tell you, this the weirdest thing. Um, before I go to bed, I've been listening to this meditation, Bob. I think I told you about it. It was on, mm-hmm. it was on um, YouTube. And it's under... Spiritual meditations or meditations, uh, sleep meditation. And there's one that says fall asleep in three minutes. Well, I try to find out what they're saying or what it does. And it's just, you know, I haven't been able to find out, but I know that I can fall asleep within a very short period of time by listening to it. So when I wake up, it's just, then they have pictures and weird things, and it's, it's really lovely and it's, it's helped a lot. So maybe oh, that wow. way I'm getting maybe that way I'm getting some positive feedback. I don't know. Well, let no, us I'm know what it is. Yeah, well, it's called uh, "Sleep in Three Minutes," and it's on oh. YouTube. It's on YouTube. Um, it's on YouTube, and it's uh, "Sleep Fast in Three Minutes" or something like that. But it's on YouTube under meditation and spirituality. Okay, I'm definitely going to check it out. Yeah, check it out, please. Okay, Okay, definitely. What does anybody have to do with dominoes? Why am I picking up dominoes? Not me. What about you, Johnny? I I don't know. I mean, the only thing I know about dominoes. Picking up dominoes. Me too. um, That's the first thing. And I like it. That's the kind I get, usually. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This is too weird. Hold on, please. What? Dale, guess what? Every what? Friday, I tell Priscilla, it's pizza night, and we get it from Domino's. <laughs> oh, <is> that... <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. Oh, my it gosh. Is weird. It wasn't the Domino wow. game. It was the Domino pizza. Well, you know, it's time <sighs> to order Domino's. <laughs> She always says, Mom, it's Friday night. Can we get Domino's? Oh, my gosh. That is that is what it is. Wow. Oh, did you have your Domino's? Confirmation. Yet? No, because right, it's only 513. We don't usually eat till late on Friday night. That's right. You're in California. Okay. Well, you're going to get yeah. your Domino's. Okay. That's yeah. 
You predicted it. <laughs> weird. Even I, even Johnny, even I go weird on myself sometimes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready for the next one? What are we? Yeah. Okay. Six one zero. You are on the air. Six one zero. Welcome to the show. You're on with Dale Shear. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 This is who? He, yes. What's your name? Shana. Shana. And where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Sort of my neck of the woods, relatives there, from back east, from New Jersey, from, you know, that area, and a uh, very beautiful area. Very expensive, but very beautiful. What can I help you with? Yeah, I wanted to know, um, is me and my husband going to get back together? Mm, okay, simple little dumb question for me. I don't have a picture of him, but how long have you been separated? For about two years, but we're, we're okay. still involved. You're still involved? You mean financially mm-hmm. or sexually? Sexually. Okay. Um, I think you're better off being the way it is. I mean, do you have to get back together with him? Hello? No. No. Okay. It's a fine situation the way it is, but eventually, yes, you will get back with him as time goes by. But it will be a long way in the future before that happens. Hmm. I'm sorry I can't tell you what you want to hear, but i just tell you like it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Was there anything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Can you yeah, talk? Do you see me graduate? Yeah. Do you see me graduating from college soon? Like, well, not soon, but do you see me completing like the the, the program? What is the program for? Nursing. Yes, I do. It's something that's okay. very much a part of you, and very much a part of your life, and I see. you Want to do it really bad. Have you done CNA work yet? Yes, I have done that. And you graduated from that, huh? Yes. Okay, and that's hard. That's very hard. I think nursing is going to be a breeze for you, and you're going to be all right. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. Night. Excuse me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're moving right along, Barb. Yeah, that was a good one. That was very good. Um, yeah, I try to keep it on the positive level because the world is just so backwards. I mean, you know, um, I do know in Nevada now, we are, the virus is very stabilized. Uh, Lake Tahoe is so weird. They're not opening up everything, but uh, they are telling people from the Bay Area, area, don't come up uh, unless you have a a secondary home here, and if you do, it's okay. But they've opened up the parks, but not the lake. Uh, But they are letting the locals go out boating on the lake and not the tourists. They're they're really catering to the locals, you know? So that part's good. That's nice. yeah, and um, although we have winds at 50 miles an hour, but the, the, there's no, virtually no uh, coronavirus in Tahoe at all. And maybe if there is, there's 10 people, and um, it's curious to see once they let people in, what will happen. Yes. I think that we'll we can go it. to the beaches again here, but we can't lay. We can't sunbathe, but we can swim, do all the activities. What? Tell me what is the point of that? You can't lay out. Lay out I don't know. I mean, that makes I so don't deep. know. That You've got to keep so moving. Sense. It does not make sense because if you're laying there, not bothering anybody, it seems like that's safer than walking around and spreading, spreading yeah. and Walking, it, but that you doesn't make sense the, at all. You want to hear the wildest thing what they're doing out out west here? I mean, you know, maybe yeah. in LA they might do it too, but 
uh, they've taken they're taking the movie theaters and they're opening them up and making drive-in theaters. Oh, I love so that. that. That's fun. Isn't that wonderful? I used to do that. Yeah. The and then they have screens oh. in the back so entertainers can entertain. They had one or I two of them. That. So that's what they're starting to do. And, and I think, wow, that's so exciting. Go back to the old days. I love the, that. Drive-in movies and the theaters being a hundred million big and wonderful. Okay, so I used to go to, to those too. Me too. Sorry, yeah, let's go to the next one. one. Is, three, three, four. Hi, caller. You're on live with Psychic Dale Shearer. Welcome to Life After Happiness. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Hi, who's this? My name is Shakira. I'm from Alabama. And we, you guys talked to you before, didn't I? I don't remember. I've called a couple of shows. I mean, it's possible. It's probably been a while. Okay. How can I help you now, Shakira? Um, I just want to see what you see for my love life. It sucks. <laughs> it's, it's not the best right now. I'm not with anyone. You know, but huh? I'm not with anyone. Pardon? But I just wanted to know no. if you've seen it coming in. That's what I mean by accepting it. It's like uh, you should be with somebody, but you're not. But you will be in the near future, but not right away. And the person's introduced to you by, uh, you know, to a friend, and uh, mm-hmm. you will get involved that way. Okay. I mean, I I do see you having a love life. You know, it's just a matter of. Uh, Virus has just done a lot of things, and it's rough. But I mean, you know, it's going to be all right. I mean, you will have you very sexy, very pretty. Got a lot going for you. Do you need to lose weight or gain weight? I see something with weight. I could lose a little. Yeah, but it's not that much. No. Have you been exercising at all? No, just been eating a little better. Okay, good. Good. Try walking around, you know. I know it's rough, mm-hmm. but uh, you'll be all right. Thanks for calling us, Shakira. Thank you. Okay. Right. We're having a, uh, a few regulars here and there, you know, but uh, mm-hmm. it, I don't know, Barbara, talk to me. Tell me about your trip. Uh, okay. Well, it was very uneventful, except for one day we did do some sightseeing, and I had no idea that that was the spot where the biggest ice glacier glacier was in the world. So that was fun. What? But otherwise, it was just staying in. And like I was saying before we went on air, that town doesn't even have a taxi cab service, Lyft, Uber, nothing. It is very small. So it was wonderful seeing my mom and stepdad, but we were very glad to be back, even though things don't seem to be so open around here. I like being around people and the beauty of it here and all that. So it made it really nice to come home. And then, you know what, when you do have something like that and you come home and it's so good to be home, you get inspired. So I've been very inspired the last couple of days. Really? Inspired with what? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm what? just getting tons of stuff done. I'm I'm posting more auctions. I just went right dove right back into selling stuff on my eBay. So under Barbara Moore's private vault on eBay and it's going really well. One thing that has gone well for me is the on my online business like that during the coronavirus. And I actually am doing better than usual except for a few of my my shoots that were canceled but they're going to do them when things get back to normal they're going to be rescheduled so that i won't totally lose out on all that money but okay, that was a lot to lose out on i have a question yeah. can anybody get on your auction and take a percentage of it mm, um no anybody so could bid that. on my auction but they what do you mean take the percentage of in other it words, i have some I have a lot of memorabilia because we have a shop that I want to get rid of. I have Mickey Mantle balls and signed by him and, you know, all kind of. Uh, oh, oh. You know, 
uh, authenticated, you know, stuff that I wanted to auction off, but oh. I didn't have a way of doing it. So I was wondering. No, it's not really like that. I just sell my own memorabilia, my Playboy stuff and posters and photos and clothing. But, you know, you should open your own eBay. I mean, it's not like you have to have a store, but you could just go on and auct- start auctioning off one at a time. As you oh, get no, it ready, that. take I a photo. That. I can do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, do I don't that. do I that, though. I I would, but I just don't because I just I hardly have time to do my own. There's so much to sell of my own that that keeps me totally busy. What is it? Okay, do we have another caller right on? We sure do. Area code 804 is next. Hi, 804. You're on live with Psychic Dale Shearer. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you very much for taking my call. I do have a little synchronicity related to uh, dominoes, <laughs> uh, and I did I did leave a message at their corporate headquarters today, but years ago I had a friend and sort of mentor who was well-renowned in business franchising, and he was actually helping Tom Monahan, the founder of Domino's, out of a difficult situation back in the early 80s. But uh, I have, my question relates to a poem I authored to help raise the consciousness globally. Where are you calling from? What is your name, sir? Uh, My name is Hugh, and I'm calling from uh, Virginia. Okay. All right. And you're a domino person that we're looking for, I guess. Uh, besides, well, it's just I have these synchronicities all over the place. So, and uh, <laughs> Besides Barbara trying to order dominoes for her daughter, this is great. Okay, I love it. And I don't know why, but if somebody wants to send me a domino set, I'll figure out how to play it. I've never learned how to finish it. That's my whole thing with dominoes. But other than that... Uh, what are you doing in Virginia? Because I see government stuff all around you. What's up with that? Well, I, <laughs> I'm not into politics. I'm nonpartisan, but I am a former whistleblower that indirectly caused the resignation of the Speaker of the House back in the early 80s, Jim Wright, uh, from, well, back in the 80s, uh, wow. through a front page Wall Street Journal article. I do share common background with. The president, but uh, I support any president in office, but I'm not into the ego, so I leave him on his trip in that regard. But I am looking to bring forth ethics and morals and transparency into everything and show the law of attraction isn't limited if people will learn how to empower themselves through learning more about spirituality and unconditional agape love. And this poem I authored is actually in the President Ronald Reagan Library, and Maya Angelou even commented on it. It's very short. It's only three lines long. It's titled Caring, Sharing. It reads, if you dare to care, then share. If you share, pay heed. God will reward every good deed. I'm putting it out globally for anybody to utilize to do fundraising or bring more attention to their organization and show how they're adhering to the message of the poem. Well, let me say this much, sir. You're a brilliant person. I could probably talk to you for hours and hours (laughs) and hours and hours. I don't know if you knew my teacher who worked with Ronald Reagan, which was Peter Furcoat. I don't know if you knew him. I've heard the name, yes. Okay, he he worked uh, in the White House. uh, Right. He worked with Ronald Reagan and uh, did help with the, um, you know, bring down the wall, you know, all that stuff. It, it's a whole other story. But I can sure. talk to you for hours and hours and hours. But you also have a top secret clearance of some sort. You also have, like, like a CIA background. Um, you can check up on anybody at any time. You have the means to do so. You have the people to do so. All you have to do is dial a number and woo. The whole world changes. <laughs> yeah, right. so I appreciate that confirmation. And if you'd like to see the poem on a blog, which has uh, information about it being in the presidential 
Library President Reagan. It's on the blog, the word creativity, the number 777.com. Yeah, creativity777.com. I sure was. Uh, how can I help you? Well, I was just asking, do you, people are just too caught up in the fear. I don't know if they're resonating with what I'm looking to do to dumb things down to their level to show that, and I do say nature is God's question, put the devices down until you learn how to use technologies better <laughs> instead of Twitter and Facebooking your life I've away. Lost, <laughs> I've lost you. What do you want to know? I'm actually looking to transform the entire fields of global economics, education, politics, religion, and more empowering women and indigenous people globally in my work and bringing in new paradigms based on spirituality and unconditional agape love to uh, uh, bring ethics and morals. Count me in. in. (laughs) Well, if you want to hang on to my number there, you're welcome to speak with me out there. I'm going to give I'm going to give you my number. My number is, do you have a pen? Well, I'll get it from the archives, uh, but I, I, I think I saw it, too. Is that the 808 number? Yes, that's it. Okay. You can call me. And you, I'm in, like, um, like Tahoe area right now. So sure. the best time to call me is around 4 o'clock. Uh, I don't know. You're in Virginia, so whatever. But um, besides making a footnote for yourself, you're going to be a Extremely, it, it's like I know you, uh, Barbara. I'm going to see his name and face all over the place, so we better make really good friends with him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I do say the stories aren't all about me, though. It's really about me being a way shower to show you how my faith in God has seen me through some pretty extraordinary life experiences. I've been through pretty much what everybody's going through and a whole lot more. And, uh, as I speak with you, I had a near-death experience back in 2007, which they didn't expect mm-hmm. me to live more than a few months. I came into the veterans' health care system in 2008 when I saw the pulmonary doctor. He took one look at me and said, you're going to be dead in six months. I said, nice meeting you too, Doc. Some bedside manner you have here. But <laughs> anyway, uh, it's all a question of choices and, and letting go and letting God handle what you can't. So there's more beyond the physical is that spirituality can do a lot of healing for people. Oh, yes, it can. Let me add something to you really quick. Um, it's like I'm just talking to you alone, and I love it. Uh, I would like, again, I would love to talk to you on hours because I can learn so much from you. But I might say this, and Barbara, I don't know if you knew this, but I had a very tiny, small cancer in my breast uh, three years ago. Four millimeters, very small. And uh, I didn't believe it was cancer, but anyway, I was the one that found it on the mammogram. They said it was, and I had to go through an operation. And I refused to take uh, any anesthesia because anesthesia stays in your body and it's not real good. So they thought I was nuts. They weren't going to do the operation. I said, well, then don't do it. I I really don't care. And anyway, they ended up doing the operation. I had no anesthesia whatsoever for two hours, had no pain, no nothing. They got everything out. It was fine. Three years later, I'm doing great. My doctors have shaken their head and said, I, I don't, I've never heard of anybody doing this. And um, wow. it's really, it's, it's a, like he's saying, it's a mind thing. It's, it's besides believing in God, which I did in the Mother Mary, I could say, that this is what pulled me through, especially the Mother Mary and praying a lot, because at that time, three of my friends all had different types of cancer, so we'd do a meeting every day, and, you know, it was just, it was amazing. You know, what, if you believe in something other than yourself, how you can make things happen in a positive way. Well, that's a wonderful testimony. Thank you for that. And there's actually a book I read years ago. It's timeless, but I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a, just the title to resonate with it is it's called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. It was authored by Dale Carnegie. I certainly have read that book when I was 16. Right. Yes, I did. But, you know, it doesn't always hold true. Sometimes you get in situations and you forget. 
you forget where you came from, and you 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 look back, and you got to realize, you know, you got to let, like you said, let go, let God, and things change. Yeah, it's not that easy to do sometimes, but that's where the true faith comes in, and you have to hang on rock solid because even if you leave a pinhole for the darkness to come in, it can eventually overwhelm you. So it, that faith has to be it's there. True. Right. A question. But I don't want to monopolize your show, but no, no, even no, but Barbara's I, I welcome to call me too if she wants. Okay, oh, Barbara. Thank you. Can you. Okay. Just okay. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that near death thing? And well, I, uh, I was working life? as a contract security officer on March 16th, 2007. I was in an industrial business park in a patrol car and I couldn't breathe. I called my door. He said, Dad, call the police. They came and got me on oxygen and got me to the hospital. And I lost consciousness in the emergency room. I was intubated, which a lot of people don't survive. And then uh, when I came through an ICU, I actually thought I was dying. I came to on Sunday and I, my head, I envisioned as a big black marble and it exploded in a big whoosh into the universe and my new colorful particles, reds, greens, browns, blues, oranges, whites, what have you. And then I opened my eyes and saw family at the foot of the bed. I didn't put too much weight on it until the following Easter. I had gone to rehab and eventually relocated from Long Island, New York, down to Virginia. And then something triggered me to look back over the time frame of that. And Friday afternoon, March 16th, and then coming to on Sunday is basically the time frame of Jesus Christ dying and then resurrecting. I had mentioned it to a reverend type. She said, you're very special. I said, I'm not special at all, but because of that experience, I feel I have a special relationship with Jesus Christ, who I actually asked to be my business partner. That doesn't make me equal or a channeler of Jesus. It keeps me humble to ask Jesus that everything that I do for the rest of my life be done in his way, in his time, not mine. That is beautiful. Thank you much, uh, Thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful presence and for, to, for you to contribute. And I hope we all get to talk to you further in the future. Wonderful. And thank you for all the work you're doing. And we'll get there. Thanks. And everybody can, if they can't do anything else, they can pray. And God will put the ego in check where it needs to be. So God bless everyone. That's sweet. That's sweet. Thank That's sweet. You. God bless you and aloha. Anyway, that was a good one, Barb. Very good and nice yeah. and positive. Love Johnny, that. What did you, Johnny, what did we do? Johnny, what did you think? <laughs> Well, it's nice. I mean, we're getting a lot of um, we're getting a lot of great callers. This is um, you know, this has been an active night. I like this. this well, make sure like, you keep uh, his number organized because he would like to hear from me and Dell. Uh, so we uh-huh. need to keep his number. Oh, oh God! I hung. I disconnected him, but but I think that he. <laughs> but well, <laughs> wait a minute! No, no, no! Wait a minute! I mean, he. Yeah, he's, he's, listening. he's listening to us. He'll call us back. Okay. Uh, so hopefully he'll write uh, to us on our page, our Facebook page. Well, yeah. he did, he did yeah. get my number down. And then I should say my number for private consultation is 808-372-1816. And if you can't yeah. afford my fee, I will do donations. So give me a call, 808-372-1816 is for a private consultation. Anyway, who's our next okay. one? This is this, this next show is getting me so interested. I don't even want to hang up. Go ahead. <laughs> so, this, when you say the show is what? So interesting today. I don't even want to hang up. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put this woman through. Her name is Lisa. She had a blocked number, so I'm going to just say her name is Lisa. Okay. So Hi, caller. Lisa. You're on now with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Thank you for welcoming. Hi, Dale Shear. Uh, this is my third time uh, speaking with you. And uh, uh, when okay, I, make it when I talk to you, please. Make, make it, yeah, how do you I make talk it to you short? Yes, I, I have other yeah. people that have never talked to me. So what can I do for you yeah. real quick? 
Yes, I was just curious, curiosity. I have, I have no in yeah. mind. I wanted to be surprised. Do, do you see me getting like married in the future? Mm, yeah, but not right now. I see more possibility of living with somebody or sharing a place with somebody or doing something as with a friend with somebody, but not right away. Again, we're all dealing with the coronavirus and we're all dealing with weird stuff. So later on in time, it can happen. Okay? Um, okay. On, on that thing, you don't mind. What? Hello? Yeah. I don't know if she's still what here. Happened? Okay, let her hang up because I don't want to keep doing the same people over and over again. Okay, yeah, we got disconnected. Um, okay. okay, all right. Uh, the next one is, I didn't do anything, by the way. She just hung up. Okay, the next one is 502. 502, okay. great. You are on 502 with Psychic Gail Shear. Hi. Hello. Hi, who's there? It's Brenda. And where are you from? Kentucky. We got to get a lot more energy going, Barbara. Barbara, <laughs> for these people, we got, it's like Barbara from Kentucky. Come on, what's up? What <laughs> is going on? <laughs> what is your question? Uh, help. Do you see my boyfriend around? Boy, what is everybody into love? <laughs> this <laughs> coronavirus is just. I don't know. Everybody is into sex and love and all kinds of things. Not right at the moment of any permanent standing, but later on, um, yes, but not right now. Um, he's passed away. Well, that's it. Not right now. Oh, okay. So if not right now, it's not right now. Yeah. It it just is. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, wait. okay, so you had someone who passed away? Huh? Do Did I? You have someone? Are you hearing me? Am I what? Can you hear me? Uh, you keep breaking up. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, I don't no, know. I- no, she's breaking up. Barbara, I don't know. Maybe it's her phone mic. Well, try again okay. later, okay? Okay. Okay, let's Thank go you. to the next one, Johnny. What? It's Johnny. Next caller, okay, the next please, one, Johnny. Yes. Okay, another caller is area code 316. Thanks. Hi, 316. You are, it's your turn with Psychic Del Shear. <laughs> You're on live. <laughs> Oh boy, Please she says the three one six get disconnected. Um, okay, what's oh. going on? Really, yeah. You know, at first I don't know. Her, first it was breaking up, and then we get a disconnected. Okay, who's the next one? Mm, let me see. I'm. Let me see this. This this um yeah. Let me try this one to see if this works. Uh, did I try calling this person? Having... Are we uh, having technical difficulties again? I don't know. I mean, that, I'm, you know, we weren't earlier. Three, four, seven, are you there? I tried talking to this person. I couldn't get her on the air, but let's see here. Just skip over them and keep going, Johnny. You don't want dead air. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, well, let's, um, we, 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 did, we, we talked to everyone is what happened. But uh, okay, the but the well, then the you got uh, your you got your phone number again. Sure, sure. And the number is eight oh eight three seven two one eight one six. No, Johnny, that's my number. Oh, sorry. Right after happiness. Five one six. Yeah, you're, you're, Go ahead. Yeah, five one six. Five three one nine eight seven four. Okay, I'm sorry. Again, Barb? Okay, Barb. life after happiness. The number to call right now to speak live and get your complimentary reading with psychic Gail Shear is five one six five three one 
888-646-9874. We are waiting to hear from you. And this may help a lot of those, right, Dale? A lot of good energy. Some people needed to get their energy up and rise, uh, raise their vibrations up. And, you know, oh, really? stick on that Tell line. Me, Call back. If you were disconnected, try again right now because Johnny's manning right. the phones waiting for your call. Yeah, we've mm-hmm. been having some phone line problems uh, ongoing, and it's been rough, I mean, you know. So uh, it's the blog talk radio, and we're trying to get it right, but apparently it's not right. So I don't know if somebody's not trying to call through or not call through or what. Well, yeah, right, two to, or three people. The call's getting disconnected is what's happening. But I, I, uh, I mean, I'll tell you that uh, – um, I will. I like the way that I uh, advertised everything for the show because people were. I mean, it was like we had a, like a long list of calls. It got to like uh, I think we had like uh, more than average. You know, which okay, is really good. great. So you don't have to mention the amount, but this is if there's something wrong with the phone lines, apparently because it shouldn't go just dead like oh, that. Oh, oh. I'll do a thing that said that the, I'll do a um, text for saying that the that the numbers were disconnected, that the numbers get got disconnected, um, and then they'll look into it. Um, yeah, a lot of times the, too many people call at once, and what happens is uh, um, they'll call at once, and it kind of screws up the line. That happens a lot. So, Barbara, you talk. Your turn. Okay. All right. Well, I just found it super interesting about the dominoes thing because when, you know, I wasn't really thinking about it, but then that was kind of weird. It was, it's a Friday. We always get dominoes. Okay. That was funny. But then what was his name? Jim, he called. And that was what I think he must have been feeling. He had called, uh, he had so many connections with dominoes. Isn't that interesting? (laughs) You're feeling that. I don't know. I get weird things. I get names that pop up into my head, and I don't know why or what they represent or who they represent to, or I have weird things, you know, that I'm trying to help somebody, and just some weird stuff pops up, and, and it always seems to amaze me that that happens. Yeah, that, to me it's really amazing, but... That doesn't always happen where you feel it, but and it could relate to everybody on the phone. So, but somehow it does coincidentally. But I think that it really was him. It was really him. Well, it's me too because she's going to order Domino's. That's all I said. Yeah, I just told her. I mean, he was—he was kind of—he was brilliant. The, the man was. Yes. Very brilliant and knew all the higher up people in the land. Kind of nice. Plus, I like it when when men do call because we get so many women. It's nice and refreshing when we get a man that is so spiritual and calls in like that and so positive. That's true. So, Johnny, what do you think? I mean, you know, it's about getting a man called it's in is it's true. I'm often the rooster in the hen house. It's um, yeah. it's it's uh I mean, you know, I, I think it's because uh um I don't know, it's just that, you know, I mean the women seem to enjoy this sort of thing a little more, I guess. I'm not sure if I can really give one one explanation. What do you think, Dale? Usually well, get more women. He's not getting any calls right now, then we're having a major mess up that he should check into it, and we probably should end the show at this point if we're not getting anything. If we okay. don't, but there were yeah. three people who got disconnected. Are they not trying to call back, Johnny? Well, they're not on the switchboard. So okay. what I'm going to do is uh, we should probably end the show now. Do the uh, shout out, and I will. <clears throat> while you're doing the shout out, I will be doing a uh, a uh, support ticket to Blog Talk. Okay. Yeah, and see what's going on because this is very unusual. But don't it forget, really you guys, out there, we just changed the phone number, 
So it's going to take a while. You're going to just going to have to keep promoting like crazy to get people to understand the new phone number. Right. Well, just a shout out to all the people that were disconnected by accident. You can actually get a private consultation with Dale, and here's the number to call for her. Her direct line is 808-372-1816, and she also has a very nice website, dalesheer.com, spelled D-A-Y-L-E-S-C-H-E-A-R.com. You can reach her through both. And we just love you, Dale, so much. You bring such a oh, light to the show. You. Yes. Judge and Judy. every Friday, what a great way to end and start the weekend. And a great end to the week with you. And then a wonderful start to the weekend. I think it's just working perfectly. So, yes. And a lot of people do further their psychic, uh, their psychic counseling with you and that's what it's all about they get a little smidgens on the show but it takes a lot longer sometimes to work through issues and be able to not feel rushed through on a right. live talk show so please everybody do take advantage of that Dale is giving her direct line to you right there which is amazing okay. and, and uh, also check out your website months. because you have written a lot of books and and they're very very uh, full of knowledge. And please stop by. We would love to hear from you at our Life Laughter Happiness Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We posted a lot today. We posted about Dale. You can find the link on any of our social media to the show that you're listening to right now. And if you're coming on late, go to our YouTube channel. You'll find this show and right at top and all of our other shows. So we welcome you to do yeah. that, and please, yeah, Johnny, you know, support us, follow us, follow us yeah, on Johnny, I really uh, think everywhere. Change, I think the change of phone number <clears throat> put a big dent in a lot of things, but we are getting um, a lot of calls, and it's starting to happen, and it'll take a little time. And, Barb, I yeah. mentioned that we probably should go up live already on, um, uh, you know, either... Zoom or, you know, he said blue jeans, but I feel Zoom. We should we mm-hmm. should make a shot of it or try something. Okay, okay, Johnny, what do you think about that idea? I, I think it might be a thing to try just to see how it goes. I think that might be a good thing to do. I think um, I looked into the advantage of the blue jeans is that blue jeans has uh, better security and uh, it has uh, better sound and better um, video. Uh, Barbara has said that when she uses Zoom, it's not as good as Blue Jeans. Okay. Well, you know what, Johnny? We'll try them both. But anyway, I'm going to shout out and give a big aloha to you guys. And, Barb, have a okay. great weekend. And, Johnny, have a great weekend. And uh, happy thank Memorial you. Day to everybody out there. And thank, and thank you for my reading, by the way, too. That's exciting. You know the one good thing? Right. We're all we're all still alive through all this mess. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah. That is good. That's positive. Right. <laughs> okay. Aloha, right, well, Dale. Good night, Barbara. Have a good night, Dale. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye.